Hello Windy Game fan, from Monkey Island to Machinarium, the adventure game has had a long history, so let's take a look at some of the best recent titles, beginning with The Rewinder, one that draws upon Chinese mythology and is a fresh change of pace, especially if you're not familiar with the source material. You play as a rewinder, a medium of sorts that is able to communicate with spirits, having to enter people's memories and influence their actions, changing history in the process. It's a little bit spooky but it's not a horror game where the mystical Chinese underworld plays a role, such as having Niu To Ma Mian or the Ox Head and Horse Face Guardians and has some impressive pixel art as well. Speaking of pixel art, the cozy looking Unpacking was one of the standouts of 2021, being a relatively low stakes and stress free experience where you're following along the character in her various stages of life. This game is a masterclass in environmental storytelling where instead of using text and narration, everything is told through the items, such as whether a particular memento from childhood survives from one move to the next, or what gets added as a protagonist grows older. You're left to figure out the story for yourself, with some parts of the puzzle aspect being a little frustrating as you search for the right location to place something, but overall, it's a very cleverly made title. This video is brought to you by The Fastos Misadventure, a point and click adventure game in a glitchy video game inspired world which is releasing out of early access this week on the 24th. It's a little bit meta in the setting where our protagonist, Nefasto, is an embodiment of game data where a bug in the game quickly threatens the entire system. He thus has to navigate the glitching world while meeting an assortment of quirky characters as he races against time to fix the bug and to save the world. The art style is one of the highlights with what appears to be good writing as well, so do check it out if you're curious. The developer has also partnered with publisher Pix and Love Games for physical Switch releases, coming in three flavors, regular, USA and Japan, with the latter two being limited editions, so get these via the links in the description below. In a world gripped by chaos, chaos, where darkness plagues every corner of the city, and sanity is a commodity not even the rich can afford. Only one team can protect us from total annihilation. An excellent point and click adventure game is The Dark Side Detective from 2017, where the developers released A Fumble in the Dark in 2021, sporting a similar visual style but adding more cases. It takes place in a haunted city where a hero must puzzle his way through several cases, with the developers adding new free cases in post-launch support. The humour and writing are the highlights here, so if you are in an investigative mood, this is one to get. Of course, the amazing looking Lost in Play must show up on this list, being one of the most visually striking titles that I have come across, where a brother and sister duo are lost in their imaginations and must work together to get home. There are certainly monsters and a sense of danger, but it's nothing too scary where this is about as classic as it can get, only with beautiful modern animations as well. A title that, visually, is a stark contrast with the previous game is the case of the Golden Idol, but do not let looks fool you, this is one of the best games in the genre. 
it's another detective title, we're investigating 12 mysterious and gruesome deaths, having an interesting clue system, we're dragging and dropping words into paragraphs to solve the crimes, with an enthralling central mystery that will keep you at the edge of your seat. The newest title on this list is A Space for the Unbound, which was released earlier this year, but I'm confident enough to say that this belongs on the list, being a pixel art narrative title with supernatural elements. It is set in rural Indonesia in the 1990s, coming to us from an Indonesian developer, so I believe it's fairly authentic, and where they incorporated influences of media like Weathering With You, Phoenix Wright, and Persona in this game. I've seen more than a couple of people comment on how this game made them cry, so it certainly is an emotional title worth a play. Another title that must be mentioned is Return to Monkey Island, which was significant since it was more than 10 years between this and the previous entry, being a rare occurrence in games when all the stars aligned. They had the original creator Ron Gilbert working on this, where publisher Devolver Digital somehow managed to convince Disney of all people, who held the rights to the franchise through purchasing Lucasfilms that this was a good idea. Narratively, it was a continuation of Monkey Island 2, which was the last game Ron Gilbert worked on, effectively retconning the other games, where this is as expected in terms of tone and writing, with modern polish and sheen as well, while still retaining the core of what made these games great. I'm actually not super into the point-and-click adventure genre, but do have a preference for weirder titles like Hypnospace Outlaw, technically still a point-and-click title with a narrative, but where it's told through a fake desktop UI. In this world, you browse the internet or Hypnospace when you are asleep, where you're put in the role of an enforcer who has to police the information superhighway so to speak. The fake 1990s internet simulation is excellent with its share of weird and very weird being one of the most unique must-play titles. Important message received. When it comes to investigative or narrative titles, it doesn't get much better than Return of the Obra Dinn, a game that, somehow, made being an insurance investigator fun. The Obra Dinn was a ship which was lost at sea, one day mysteriously showing up at harbour with all its crew missing, so it is up to you to figure out what happened with your handy dandy mystical pocket watch that allows you to take a glimpse back into the past. You have to figure out what happened, who killed who with what weapon, where things are of course not as they seem, but puzzling out the whole mystery is the main appeal of this game. Are you crazy? You're breaking all my content! No 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 no! What is happening? Super Bowl. This is one of the most innovative titles in existence, being a more fleshed out idea of a game that came out of a game jam, where this game attempts to trick you into thinking that there is no game, but then you realise that you can mess with things like the UI, options, language, settings and more. All the little puzzles in this require you to think out of the box, and of course do not go as expected in many cases, where it is just a breath of fresh air and is very clever and innovative, so there is no game wrong dimension is a must play, with more awesome looking pixel art games in this video. We have to go back!